Now, are you using your manometer tube to extend your flue gas analyzer probe when you've got restricted access to the test point when you're analyzing and setting up a boiler? So are you doing this? Well, stop it, because you could actually be damaging your flue gas analyzer. So let's get on with it and find out exactly what you're doing wrong and how we can stop you damaging these things. So this is what's happening when you put the tube into your sample point. And as you can see, it actually goes into the bottom of the flueways. That means it is actually sucking up the condensate that this boiler is creating. Because remember, the condensate will drop down to the bottom of the flue and because the flue is angled, it will run down and back into the boiler itself and then out through the trap. So this little hose is sucking the condensate through your probe and into the bowl and into the analyzer. Now the correct location for analyzing with your probe is in the center of the flueways like that. So for this ideal boiler, we literally only need that much of the probe to get into the correct position. Now, there is a little filter in here which should stop that very acidic water. So its pH level is about 2.9 to 4, but the more this boiler condensates, or the lower the flow temperature, the more concentrated this condensate actually is. And if you don't put the little filter in there right, this will then suck the condensate, this acidic water, into the unit itself and it will damage the pump. Now this isn't just solely happening to the TPI products, this is happening to all flue gas analyzers because engineers for some reason are deciding to use this to take the sample instead of something else which I'll show you in a minute. But before I show you the little device what's going to help you stop doing that, let's just show you and make sure you are doing this filter correct. Now to strip this bowl is incredibly easy. So you can see there's a cap here on the top and there's a little trackway here. So all you do is twist the top away from you and it comes apart. Now the PTFE filter has two sides to it. So it's got like a pointy end and it's got like a flat end. Now the pointy end is designed to fit inside there. So it goes in like that. But what TPI are finding is engineers are putting them in that way because it's easier to put them in that way. And it still goes together easily, but it's leaving a gap and water is then passing through the filter. Whereas if you put the filter the correct way around, it's a bit more fiddly to get in. But it makes it all watertight for you and stops any of the moisture from the bowl getting above the PTFE filter and then into your analyzer, corroding the pump and uh, breaking it. Now, if you're allowing your bowl to get water in here, then you're doing it wrong. This is just a safety device in case something seriously happens. Now, if you fill this bowl up with water, it will stop the pump from running. But you don't want it to be doing that because what it also does is it saturates your filter. So if your filter isn't hard like this one and it's all soggy and soft, you need to change it and you need to change it on a regular basis. Now for me, always have a couple of these. I have one on the dashboard of the van when I'm working 
and I keep swapping them regular so it dries it out constantly so you can get extra life out of them also if they get saturated with CO2 as well it gives you the wrong readings now let's see if this PTFE filter in this uh, TPI condensate trap will actually stop liquid going through it like it's designed to do if you actually install it correctly so what I've got here is some apple and black currant sugar free obviously but the first thing I'm going to do is turn the pump on so I've got my app ready it's the pumps on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the probe into the black current and hopefully when it fills the bowl up it's going to trip out this or stop the pump working here it goes Well, as you could see, the water level went right the way to the top. But then as soon as it got over the top of the filter, it didn't go any further. So, hopefully, I've not broken it. Good news! I've not broken it. So what I've done is, I've dried everything out on a radiator here at the centre. Now, I'm going to have to replace the filter even though it's nice and dry, it has got a bit of a pink tinge to it, but the PTFE filter, perfect. And then the bowl's all nicely dried out and the probe too. So I can put them together in the correct way, remembering the pointy bit goes to the top. And there we go. But I've got even more good news because I've got a bit of an exclusive for you. Now, because TPI are always thinking about engineers constantly, they're coming up with a new idea for the filter bowl itself to stop you engineers damaging your analyzer and to make it easier for you to clean even though you can't get any easier than this but because they've had a few problems they've decided to slightly modify a perfect design now i'm going to show you some exclusive pictures now which nigel partridge has sent me so we can get in trouble for releasing it <laughs> not me so this is what the new bowl is gonna look like now TPI are hoping that this bowl will be available in June but by the 1st of July they are hoping that all new analyzer probes that come out are going to have the new bowl in with the analyzers. What do you think guys? Put down in the comments and let me know what you think. So now you know what you're doing wrong you can ditch a human amateur tube and you can purchase one of these Trapex right angled flue gas analyzer probe adapters to be able to do your job correctly. All you do is push it in there and this now will only draw the right air from the flue into your analyzer and not corrode it. Now if you're worried about these little right angled probes giving you the wrong readings don't be. Now I've done loads of trials on these since Trapex has been designing them and the only thing I can find difference between it being drawn through here or just being drawn through the end is the temperature which is about between one and two degrees difference but your actual CO, CO2 and your ratio is no different through here than it is through there so uh, don't worry about that one so if you want one of these why don't you go to our website www.tomcatphs.co.uk 
and buy them. They're only 11 99 plus postage and package. You can buy any of the TPI products on our website also. So hopefully you've liked the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.